Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to provide a follow up to my KitchenAid commercial mixer. Um, I did a first video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, otherwise, I've had this for about two months. My first video, I had just unboxed it. So I've um, had it for a few months now. I have gotten used to it. And I just wanted to give you guys some um, information on it. So first off, love it. Okay. I am so grateful that I bought it when I did. Um, yeah, it just makes things when you're making double batches of things so much easier. Um, the motor in here is the big difference. Other than the size of the bowl, this is an eight quart bowl. The one I had was a five quart bowl. Um, so obviously that makes it easier to use when you may have double batches, but the motor in here is different. Um, it's a lot more powerful than this one and it's quieter. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it is. And I wanted to show you guys that real quick uh, because it is so much quieter. So I'm going to start with the um, old five quart KitchenAid mixer and I'm going to try to stand as, you know, equal distant from it. And I'm just going to crank it up to, we'll do four, I think. Okay. Okay, so that was the noise level of that one. And I'm going to turn this one on to the same level. That's quite a bit different. I didn't ch change the sound at all on the video, so just know that. I hope you guys could hear it. Um, so I definitely love that it's quieter. It works really good for breads and everything. I don't worry about the mixer sounding like it's about to give out because this one was starting to sound like it was struggling with some of my soft doughs. Um, this one, no issues whatsoever. I haven't even gone past like a speed of a four because I don't need to. Um, it does mix things quite a bit faster. So if you have a dough that you don't want to over mix, you do want to make sure to pay attention to that because it is really easy to over mix. Um, I just feel like there's more contact points but with your, your whisk um, and some of your other attachments like these, they, they touch the bowl better. Um, so then you just, it gets mixed faster. So just be aware of that. I did say in my first video that this guy is a little too tall for my counter. It does not fit under my um, cabinets like this one does. So we did remedy that with this little cart. Um, it rolls around my kitchen pretty easily, as you can see there. Um, it's not ideal, but it's great. It works awesome for what I need. We did get this cart at Lowe's in case you are curious. Um, and you can cut it to whatever height you need for your counter. So when I do um, mix, sometimes I just leave it right here on this cart and it works great. You saw it just a minute ago. It wasn't moving. Um, you can also, I can slide it onto my counter really easy. So that's not a problem at all. Um, I did want to show you too some of the attachments that I have that also work for this mixer or this one as well. Um, so we bought a little piece that goes into the front here. Okay. Um, it grades cheeses or slices, whatever. Um, it hooks in the front just like any of the other ones, and it works great. There's no issue whatsoever in the connectivity of it. Um, and you turn it on, and it works just like any other um, piece would. All right. Um, another attachment that we had purchased for our other KitchenAid mixer that also works for this one is the ice cream attachment. Um, so let me get this out of the way. So if you have one of the bowls for the ice cream making um, and you're worried about it not fitting, rest assured, you can make it work. Okay, so if yours looks like this, I'm sure there's other ones um, out there, but this does fit right on like it would any other KitchenAid attachment. And then you just lift it up whoop, and you turn it on and it makes your ice cream just like any other KitchenAid attachment. All right, last but not least of the attachments that we have is I had purchased a um, pastry paddle so that I could make some pastries better. And there's one that fits perfectly in the commercial KitchenAid as well. Um, so rest assured, if you are looking for a pastry paddle, you can get it with a commercial KitchenAid. Um, yeah, so we are very excited. 
I love my orange corded beauty. <laughs> um, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the commercial KitchenAid, I'd be happy to answer to the best of my ability. Say hello to my cat. <laughs> As always, though, I will see you next week.